In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how much I make in passive income every month and hopefully inspire you to be able to do the same. So first, let's get on the same page with what passive income actually is. Passive income is revenue generated without you actively having to work for it. Now it requires upfront work and maybe an hour or two a week to maintain, but otherwise runs on autopilot, whether you're sitting in an office, laying in bed at night, or maybe just sitting on a beach in the Caribbean. Meaningful passive income sources always take a good amount of time and energy to get set up and running smoothly. So if anyone ever tries to tell you differently, they are probably trying to sell you something. So passive income could be a rental property you own that you have a property manager handle the day to day of and maybe you just take the occasional phone call. It could also be t-shirt designs that you've uploaded to Redbubble and is completely hands off. Or it could be dividends from stocks you bought after watching an Andre Jick video. It is not money that you have to actively work to generate. That would be the exact opposite of passive income. Okay, we're on the same page now? Great. Second, most passive income videos I've watched on the topic on YouTube show a lot of revenue derived from that same YouTube channel. And that's fine, YouTube is a great source of passive income, but it does take an enormous amount of time, specific skill set, and some luck to just make happen for you. And that's just not attainable for most people. So while I do earn most of my passive income from my other channel, Mango Street, I'm not gonna include any of that in this video. The last thing I'll mention is my own personal goal with passive income is to take it to $100,000 a year, so that frees me up to spend my time how I'd like. Now let's just get into it. Back in 2015, I was buying and selling vacant land for profit. The first parcel I bought was in Los Angeles County. It was five acres, but it was on the other side of the mountains, really far away from LA. After doing some research on parcels in the area and negotiating with the sellers, I purchased the lot for $5,000. After I got the deed in my hand, I listed it on Craigslist for sale and I offered seller financing. A few days later, I sold it to a guy who did want seller financing and the terms we agreed to was a $500 down payment and then he'd pay me $175 a month for the next eight years. That ends up as a total purchase price of $16,800, leaving me with roughly $11,000 profit. Knowing what I know now, I don't think I would have offered seller financing. I would have just listed the property for maybe $10,000, no seller financing, because it did tie up a large amount of my capital in this long-term deal. So while it was extremely profitable and I've been enjoying $175 a month coming in without doing any work, I probably would have changed the structure of that deal had I known what I know now. Literally the only thing I have to do with this passive income is twice a year I pay property taxes for it and then I just add it to the invoice of the buyer. So I'm taking care of the property taxes up front to make sure they get paid, but then he reimburses me for that. Now you may know that I'm also a photographer, so the next source of passive income is stock photography. And to be honest, most of the stock photography income does come from my wife, Rachel, but since we're married, I'm gonna count it. We both have accounts on the stock photography site, Stocksy, and we often shoot each other or our dogs, or when we're working with models, we'll have them sign a model release allowing us to sell images of them on Stocksy. And this has been a really great source of passive income over the years. We actually made a whole video about this on Mango Street, breaking everything down. So if you wanna take a look, I'll put the link in the description. The cheapest photo license you can get on Stocksy is $15 and we have a 50-50 split with Stocksy. So on the low end, we'd get $750 per photo. But depending on the resolution or the license that the customer wants, it could be several hundred dollars. So it ends up being a pretty significant source of passive income for us. They would just otherwise be sitting on a hard drive, not doing anything, collecting dust, um, but by taking the time to keyword them and get them sorted and uploaded to Stocksy, we're able to generate hundreds of dollars a month. If we had more free time, we could do more dedicated shoots specifically to upload to Stocksy and really see a bump in passive income from that, but we just haven't had the time really to do that lately. So on average, we make about $585 a month from Stocksy. Not bad at all. Since we're talking about licensing creative work for income, let's talk about video. Since we're already filming videos, often working with models, often hiring videographers, it only makes sense to monetize that footage in a way other than YouTube. Artgrid is a platform that we use to license stock footage, but now we also contribute stock footage to it as well. The way it works is a normal customer will sign up for an annual subscription, ranging from $300 all the way up to $600 a year, depending on the type of resolution that they want. The way you get paid as a contributor is Artgrid sets aside a percentage of all of their revenue from subscriptions, and then they distribute it to all of the contributing filmmakers based upon how many downloads each person receives. So if they have $100,000 allotted for payouts for one year, and there's 10,000 downloads across the entire platform, that makes each download worth $10. So let's say our clips are downloaded 200 times. That means we would get paid $2,000. The downside is they only pay out once a year at the end of the year, so you can't really rely on it for monthly income. 
and you also don't know how much you're going to get paid until they email you at the end of the year telling you. It's an interesting business model and it's becoming more and more common as consumers are demanding unlimited downloads of everything. Now video takes a little longer for us to prepare and upload to the site, so we don't do it as often as we should. We only have 49 clips on a profile right now and we uploaded those late last summer and they paid out at the end of November. Even still, that averaged out to about $25 a month in income from this handful of clips that had been uploaded for just a few months. It's still a great opportunity to take footage that's otherwise sitting on hard drives collecting dust and putting it to work generating revenue for you. When it comes to passive income I earn, this is by far my favorite avenue. Artlist is the sister site to Artgrid, but for music licensing. We have been using it for years to get music for our YouTube videos, and I was always curious about how the artists were paid. Like Artgrid, it's an annual subscription and it's $200 a month, but once again, you get unlimited downloads. So I actually have a background in music. I played in bands throughout my teenage years and I went to school for audio engineering and I worked in recording studios. So last spring, I decided to learn how to make music in a program called Ableton Live. I immediately started putting some songs together and came up with eight tracks that I liked enough to submit to Artlist. So May of last year, I got my eight songs uploaded to Artlist. Now at this point, I knew how their payout structure worked, but I had no idea actually how much I would make off those eight songs. Well, December rolled around and I remember we landed at LAX after a flight back home and I got an email from Artlist notifying me that my royalty payment of $12,888 was ready. After playing in bands for years, this was hands down the most money I've ever made from making music. So needless to say, I was really stoked. Not only is it super fulfilling and fun for me as a creative outlet, now it's also generating me passive income. So I spent the first four months of this year working on a variety of different songs and different genres, and then uploaded all of them to Artlist. So right now I have dozens of songs available on Artlist, and I have more that I'm uploading as we speak. I'm hoping to triple the amount that I made last year, but we'll have to wait and see. I can see the statistics for how many downloads I'm getting and I'm definitely outpacing last year. So right now it's averaging out to about $2,000 a month, but I'm hoping it'll only go up from there. So all in all from these passive income sources, I'm able to bring in $2,785, which amounts to over $33,000 a year. Okay, real quick, I'm actually in the middle of editing this video and I thought of two things. First, I completely left out one other source of passive income that I just completely forgot about and that is streaming revenue from my music. So I actually have all of my music uploaded to streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And I get paid per stream. It's like a fraction of a penny, but it all adds up. And I completely forgot about it because I haven't made any withdrawals from all of that revenue that's been generated. So I checked in on it and it turns out I'm averaging $300 a month in streaming revenue, which is super awesome. So that brings my total to $3,085 per month which is roughly $36,000 a year. The other thing I wanted to mention is when we go on vacation or are on a business trip for other things, we'll bring along a camera and either take photos or video for the purpose of uploading to stock sites so that we can make use of our downtime. So one example of this is we were on a trip to New York for the Moment Film Festival. We had a short film premiering there and we paid our friend Will one morning to walk around with us and we just filmed him. That's where a lot of our art graded clips came from. It's just we we're on a trip for something completely different and now we have this other way to make money from that trip. So just an idea that can hopefully inspire you and think outside the box on how you might be able to make some extra revenue when you're doing other things. If you're looking to get started generating passive income, here are some tips to get started. First, identify your hobbies. What do you like to do for fun? Or what are you good at? Two, identify how the leaders in this niche are actually making money. Are they selling a digital product? Are they selling a physical product? Are they doing advertisements? Identify an attainable avenue to start generating income in this niche. Three, if you know it has the potential to be profitable, don't be afraid to put in the time and effort needed to learn new skills and stand out from the crowd. You can learn anything on the internet for free. I do it all the time. Plus, if you enjoy doing it, passive income just becomes an added bonus. For instance, I would still love making music even if it didn't bring me any money. Lastly, trying to earn revenue from something that you enjoy doing can suck the fun out of it. So if you truly love doing something, don't feel like it's a waste of time if it's not generating you income. That doesn't have to be your end goal. Now, if you're looking for more passive income ideas, let me know in the comments and I can do a video about that. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already and hit that thumbs up button for me. It'll really help me out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.